Um, hey guys, um, I just wanted to make a video about um, showing why I Islam is a false religion and this is informative so just if you're and to all my Muslim brothers and sisters watching this video just watch the whole video um, go to the links I'm gonna put in the description box and then decide for yourself so the two things I'm gonna talk about in this video are gonna be concerning prophecies and heaven and hell testimonies so basically, from what I understand, um, Islam teaches that Muhammad was the last prophet, and yeah, but that's wrong. How can how can Islam teach that Muhammad was the last prophet when we have Christian prophets in the thousands, living, breathing, prophesizing on a regular basis every day? Just I'm gonna put a lot of links to Christian prophets in this video. Um, they prophesize on a regular basis. There's a couple dozens, if not hundreds, and if not hundreds of Christian prophets that uh, prophesize every day on a regular basis, they talk to Jesus Christ. They, um, Jesus Christ, um, reveals himself through dreams, visions. Um, he gives them dreams that are uh, he get he gives them prophetic dreams and they share it on YouTube. So that just proves that um, Islam is wrong because Muhammad was not the last prophet. Muhammad was not even a prophet. He was a false prophet. He was. Um, tricked by Satan. Remember, Satan comes as an angel of light also. So he that's one of the ways he disguised himself. So from what I believe is Satan disguised himself as the um, uh, archangel Gabriel and tricked Muhammad into um, creating Islam, basically. That's what I believe. So you can't say Muhammad, Muhammad was the last prophet when he lived over a thousand years ago and we have Christian prophets living breathing prophesizing on a regular basis every day of whom you can see on youtube yourself and see all the prophecies they all the prophecies that they've said that have come true and, and some that have um that are uh, that will come true concerning the rapture trial tribulations and second thing i wanted to talk about this video is in heaven and hell testimonies so um this is a I, i've i've thoroughly researched this topic i've i've probably watched over 50 heaven and hell testimonies and if, if every single heaven and hell testimony i've watched whether it was a little kid that died went to heaven and was brought back to life because their parents was praying for him and jesus gave him a second chance at life so he can join his parents in, in on earth to the muslim man that died saw jesus christ saw that islam was wrong saw that the only way to, to salvation is through christianity is through jesus christ that they that and, and after they died they came back to christian go watch heaven and hell testimonies i'm gonna put put links down below you will not find a single heaven and hell testimony of a christian dying coming back to life and turning into a muslim turning into an atheist you will not find that Every single heaven and hell testimony I've seen, it was a Christian dying, coming back, remaining a Christian. It was a Muslim dying, coming back, turning into a Christian. It was an atheist dying, coming back, turning into a Christian. Every single testimony I've seen, it was somebody staying a Christian or converting into a Christian. This just proves that Christianity is the only way. You can't, all these other religions, they're false. They're not, they're, they're wrong, basically. If you don't believe me, watch those testimonies, um... Um, remember what I talked about in this video. So, yeah, and I even Googled it. I even Googled Christian dying, coming back to life, turning into a Muslim. I could not find a single one. And this isn't just some propaganda of Christians making up random testimony, heaven and hell testimonies. Every single heaven and hell testimony, they basically say the same thing. This this can't be a coincidence of every single person that has died and came back to life. They They share a similar message. They were saved through Jesus Christ. And they accepted Christ when they came back to life because they realized he was the only way to heaven so yeah that's what i wanted to talk about and i'm gonna put i'm gonna be putting links down below in the video watch those videos watch the christians um don't after you can't just ignore all the living breathing prophesizing christian prophets that exist right now and look at a christian in the face and say muhammad was the last prophet it just does not work like that and yeah if and and if you're a, if you're an atheist, if you're a Muslim, if you're not a Christian, if you're a Buddhist, Hindu, whatever you may be, just know that um, you can come to Christ, and you can, and there's ways that you can ask Christ to reveal Himself to you. And 
Right now, I'm going to tell you how. So basically, get on your knees, put your hands together, close your eyes, pray to Jesus Christ. Tell Him, Jesus Christ, people are telling me things about you. They're telling me you're God. They're telling me you're Son of God. You're, they're telling me all these things, but I don't know you. Tell Him you don't know Him. Tell Him you want to... Tell Him if He's real, show Himself to, to you. Um, just, just, just pray from the heart. Tell Him how you really feel. Tell Him you're a Muslim. Islam teaches this. I believe in this. But if you're real, show me that you're real. Show me that you are the only way to heaven. And He will show it to you. Remember, I was an atheist. I was not, I was not a Christian. I was an atheist. I thought religion was just um, people. I, I thought that mankind made religion to control the poor people while all the rich people lived in wealth. I was an atheist. Coming to Christ was not an easy process for me. I, I gave up so much when before I lived a wicked lifestyle. I gave up so much. And I understand how how Muslim households, they can be very strict of, of how parents can disown their children for becoming Christian. But remember, your eternity depends on this. This is not a joke. This life is a test. Don't let the fact that you were born into a Muslim family be the cause that that you go to hell. Don't just put it in back of your mind. Oh, oh, um, um, I'll talk to God, and when I die, I'll talk to God. I'll let him know. I'll let him know that I was born in a, a Muslim family. I couldn't, I couldn't turn into a Christian. After seeing this video, I have already warned you. You can't tell God that um, you didn't know that Christianity was the way. I already warned you. I already told you to pray to Christ to reveal Himself to you, and and just do it. Just you have nothing to lose from this. This will only add to your this will only benefit you you get nothing to lose from this and remember it, i know it's hard from i myself was an atheist coming to christianity was a hard process for me i'm not gonna uh, lie to you and say oh it was easy um accepting christ was so easy for me as i the, i had to i understand every I, I i i gave up so much from my wicked ways i turned into i'm trying to live an upright life i'm trying to make sure um I'm worthy that I be raptured when Christ returns. So that that's what I want to talk to you about. Watch those heaven and hell testimonies. Check out the videos of those prophets that I talked about. Pray to Jesus Christ that He reveal Himself to you and He will. If you just say from the, come from the heart, tell Him, Jesus, people are telling me things about you, but I don't know you. Show me who you are. Show me, show me who you are. Basically, this is how I came to. This is how I came to Christ. I basically asked Himself to reveal Himself to me. Um. So yeah, I know it's. I know it's not going to be easy turning into a Christian, giving up your old ways. You may even lose family members. You may even lose relatives, but it doesn't matter. This Your eternity depends on this. Don't let the fact that you were not born into a Christian family be the fact that you don't go to heaven. Just don't. So yeah, watch those videos I talked about and then judge for yourself if Christianity is the um, only way. And you'll realize it is Christianity is the only way. And Islam is a false religion. Muhammad was tricked by Satan into creating uh, creating Islams or for so he he just wanted remember Satan ha hates mankind because a mankind gets to get go go to heaven but Satan he doesn't have a chance of going to heaven he's a he's the he's the devil basically so yeah um, he basically tricked Muhammad they created this false religion religion just to drive people away from Christ. So yeah, um, all glory to God because all glory belongs to Him. I'll be praying, praying for you. Thanks for listening to this video.